This is the kind of question that when you're just starting to learn algebra and maybe you don't feel really confident in it can, can be intimidating. But um, remember, this is not the kind of question that your teacher's gonna ask you in school. Usually they're gonna give you this story and then make you come up with the equations on your own. And, and, and you should learn how to do that. That's a good skill to have. But also remember, this is a multiple choice test. This is different than those other tests you get in the school. So we have this ability to kind of sort through the answers that we're given and test those answers against the story rather than use the story to come up with the answers. So it's kind of like working backwards, guess and check in a way. So what I would do here, if I were confused, is I would say, all right, I, I can see two things going on uh, it's very quickly, just with the, the last equation, right? C plus M, does that equal 25? or does that equal four, right? Notice the top equations are changing in lots of ways, but I can break these choices down basically in, into a, a single uh, easy choice first. Should C plus M be 25 or should C plus M be four? Well, they say that Connor is the C dollars and Maria has M dollars. And uh, the, the basically the four is how many, like how they relate to each other, but 25, that's the total, right? So total is a word we associate with multiplication, or not with multiplication, sorry, we associate with addition. So there you go, C plus M being 25, that kind of satisfies that, right? We're taking the amount that Connor has and the amount that Maria has, we're adding them together, and that's 25. So just like that, we've doubled our odds of getting this question right. And now we can think, okay, where does the four go? Does the four go on Maria or does the four go on Connor? And this is where actually a lot of people have trouble because because uh, they really want to put the four with Connor because it's right next to the four, right? Maria is all the way over here, I guess. So there's a little bit more space and just our brain wants to take the four and put it with the thing it's closest to. But that is not correct. We need to put the four with Maria. Now, this is where it gets a little confusing. The overall strategy for the math is to uh, plug points into equations. And we have equations here. So we could make up some values for C and M and we could plug them in and, and see how they fit into the equations. And there is a set value for C and M here. And we could use a calculator to find it if we wanted to, but I don't want to. I just want to temporarily come up with some numbers for C and M just to test that top equation. Right, so let's think about the story and put some numbers in for CNM. We're just gonna read that first part. Connor has four times as many dollars as Maria. Right, so let's just pretend that Maria has two dollars, okay? So if Connor has four times as many, well, four times two is eight. So that, those numbers make sense with at least that part of the story. They don't make sense with another to the 25. That's okay though, I, I, that doesn't bother me. I'm not interested in that part, I figured that part out. I'm just interested for a second in making sure I put the four on the right variable. So in this case, if I do choice A, I would have eight is equal to four times two, right? The, the point that we made up for Connor and Maria, Connor is eight, so that's why I plugged it in for C, and Maria is two, so that's why I plugged that in for M. Now that makes sense, right? Eight is equal to four times two. So that mini equation that we just made fits both the story and the numbers that we used. Then B though does not, right? If we put the two for M and then C is eight, we create an equation that doesn't make sense, right? Two is equal to four times eight. Well, two is not equal to 32. That's just wrong. Those are two completely different numbers. So what that does is it shows that the equation in choice B is not the right equation based on our story. So the, the overall idea I'm trying to get across here is that algebra can sometimes be hard to think about. It's, it's confusing, it's abstract, and if you're in eighth and ninth grade, you're just learning this stuff, right? This is new to you, so it might not feel very comfortable yet. But you've done arithmetic in your life now for several years, right? You've even just counting on your fingers. So if we can bring arithmetic back into these algebra uh, questions, we might have a better chance of understanding what's going on. So hopefully at some point, you'll be able to just read this story and understand that C has four times, or Connor has four times as many dollars as Maria is literally just saying C equals four M. You'll be able to read that and, and perfectly get that equation every time. But as training wheels, use numbers to try to understand. And, and we can pick numbers temporarily knowing that they don't need to be the perfect numbers, but they at least just temporarily let us see and understand better what's going on. So hopefully this gives you some new ideas to think about. Certainly as we get harder uh, questions later in the section, we're gonna wanna think back to regular numbers more and more often because algebra gets more and more confusing.